Welcome back. Now, South African actors Theodore Yankees and Maurice Page are heading to uh, Platform 9, coming home this December with a renowned actor and producer, Christo Davids. The trio is bringing their successful comedy show back to the Baxter Theatre. The show will take place, uh, will rather take to the stage from the 13th of December until the 7th of January, performed in Afrikaans and some English. Now, to share some uh, knowledge on what we can expect uh, Theodore Yankees and Maurice uh, Page joined us on the line because they're on the road uh, on their way to the Baxter. Gentlemen, a very good morning to you. I want to start with you, Maurice. I mean, tell us more about the comedy show and what it is about. So, hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. So, the comedy show is uh, mainly about friendship. It's about love. It's about how we connect to where we live and how we find one another. How we support one another to be where they want to be. But throughout this journey, we meet certain characters or funny characters on our journey. And, and that's mainly what the show is all about. Mm -hmm. uh, Maurice, I mean, how did you guys get into comedy? Because for most of us, we would have seen you on the more serious shows or the more serious soapies on TV. Yeah, so, you know, we are very versatile. <laughs> How can I put it? Um, because we don't want to be stuck in one thing that everybody knows us about, especially from the TV shows that we do. Um, I think, you know, people need to see the other side and see what we're all about. And we are not just, you know, we, we're not born to do one thing only. And, and that's why we take the, the own initiative to showcase our versatility. Mm. Theodore, I mean, give us the you know, the synopsis of, you know, as well of how different and challenging uh, comedy is in comparison to your more serious roles. Mm. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, so, so it's such an honor to be here. Right, the thing is, uh, with the platform nine, um, you know, it's, it's based on, 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 on real people. So yeah. we, from a very small, we grew up together, we're from a small town called Edelberg in the, in, the, in the Southern Cape, and we... We we were we decided one day we want to do the show. Uh, obviously, we want to you know uh, make our mark in the industry, but I mean we need to do our own show that's based on people that we grew up with, uh, experienced uh, you know in, in Heidelberg. And uh, yeah, this is, this is actually what what our show was uh, you know came about, and, and Christo developed the show and put it together. And, and obviously, um, it's on the fact that it, uh, it it involves real people, you know. Um, you know, the funniness is, is not in, in um, you know, the characters that we portray, but it's the situations within uh, the play that, that, that's so funny. And I think that, that's why people, you know, uh, you know, love the show so much, because um, it's because of the situations that are so familiar, um, you know, in our day-to-day -day life. And, and, and it's amazing to, to be on stage. With yeah. You. I mean, take us through a day in the small town. I mean, you touched on how you guys talk about day-to-day -day, uh, things in this town. I mean, what does this town look like? And what are some of the fond memories that come out of uh, this small town? Look, uh, it's a town that, 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 uh, that you know, that's that, that been, been so used to uh, being exposed to, to theatre. Um, Christopher Davis, uh, a late grand grandfather, you know, he, he, was, a, he was an amazing experience. You know, he, he gave us experience, he gave us a platform uh, to develop our talent. And uh, yeah, I don't know if, uh, like Marie mentioned, it's, uh, it's a versatile town. There's uh, a lot of people, there's rugby players coming from there, there's actors, there's doctors. You know, it's, uh, it's just a vibrant, vibrant town. And, and I mean, these characters we get to see, um, and we actually, well, well, while we acted, we're actually on our way to our hometown now. We do a previous show tonight uh, for, uh, for Platform 9. And I mean, uh, it's, it's quite funny when we play there, the fact that they know these characters makes it even more funny. So we're looking forward to that tonight. Uh, that was going to be my next question, you know, to Maurice. What does that feel like, you know, taking your craft to your people where this player was born? <laughs> um, you know, to be honest, there you will get the hardcore critics. You will know when you walk out of that town, okay, this is what it's about. And it's also a funny feeling, uh, knowing me that we're taking back the characters, we put them on stage and we bring them to life. But knowing me that some of these people and the memories are still alive also. So um, taking it back, it's a, it's a, it's a 
different kind of mindset and performance and level that you need to do it. Because it's not an audience like in Cape Town with Dexter or in any kind of other uh, city where you perform this play, but it's, it's in front of people that know its people. So you, you know it at the same time, but also you know what you bring, uh, um, your own flavor and colors to these characters. So it's always exciting, but also very nerve-wracking to know that we're going to perform in Heidelberg in mm. front of our own people. Mm. Theodore, every project comes with its own lessons, you know, every mm-hmm. uh, project that you, uh, you, you embark on. Tell us a little bit about what lessons came with working on this particular project and what does this mean in your career? Yeah, look, we, look, we, we, we grew up in the theatre. You know, we believe that whatever we do, we must always go back to the one thing that shaped us, in a way. Um, and because we grew up together, myself, Chris, and Maurice, um, we believe that, that within our work we must show uh, really love and passion for, for, for the craft and what we do. And then obviously the respect that we have to, you know, show each other while we're doing that. Uh, I think the biggest lesson and, and theme, strong themes that, that we also work in uh, Black and Niners is all about friendship. It's all about instilling hope. Uh, it's about, you know, a friendship that becomes uh, a, safe, a safe place for for each other, and, and I think that is what people's gonna, gonna, gonna you know, take from, from the show is just instilling hope. You know, we, we've been through a very tough time with COVID and, you know, all those things that, that it wants to, um, that to give your life. But I mean, uh, people's gonna walk out and they're gonna, they're gonna look, they're gonna feel much lighter and they're gonna be, they're probably gonna have a smile on their face and just forget about, about the stuff that's going on in South Africa for at least an hour, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, man, come, come out and enjoy the show, and it's, it's, it's quite nice to sit back and just have a laugh. Yeah. Maurice, what does preparation for uh, the show look like? What are the rehearsals looking like? What are these conversations happening ahead of this big show in your hometown? Uh, well, I, I do know that everybody down there is very, very, very excited. And then, of course, we are doing it for the group, for a good cause. It's not just a, a show that's going to happen. Uh, you know, uh, in, in the town, this town, and around. But preparation, um, I think, <laughs> you know, I think the people there, our old people, they're more excited than us because we are more concentrated about the play that needs to sit a certain way. But for them, they, I think it's, it's more about the boys is coming home. The man of you know, you're going to see the live <laughs> performance again. So I think it's more about that. They're much more excited about the play that's going to take off, and we are more worried about the technical stuff, the characters and the stories, and all of that situation about the play itself. Mm. So give us details. What are the times? How are the ticket prices doing? Oh, um, today, tonight, tonight's show is obviously a preview show. But um, we're starting on Tuesday on Tuesday night, uh, 7 o'clock at the Baxter Theatre. That will be in the Golden Arrow Studio. Uh, prices ranging between 144 and 180. Uh, and uh, you can get your tickets uh, at uh, web tickets. And um, yeah, get, get those tickets, book the tickets, because uh, something tells me the show is, is going to, you know, <laughs> going to be booked out very soon. So. Uh, get your ticket from ticket. That'll be awesome. All right, gentlemen. Good luck with the show. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for stopping on the side of the road to chat to us. All right. Uh, talking to us is uh, that was actors uh, Theo uh, Yankees and Maurice Page, who will star in the latest installment of Platform 9, coming home from the 13th of December until the 7th of January 2023 at the Baxter.